guys went to Very Terrible to the Surf Mail featuring our Dugong from Lost Origin with a Flow Return attack, shuffling back any amount of 40 energy from your Pokemon into the deck, doing 40x damage for each card you shuffle back in this way. We also have our Finion with the Oceanic Accompaniment ability, allowing us to attach a 1 energy from our hand onto any one of our Pokemon with the Swim Freely attack as often as we like during our turn. So this is a pretty standard deck, we just got a huge upgrade with the release of a new item from Obsidian Flames, Letter of Encouragement, allowing to search a deck for any 3 basic energy, reveal them and put them into your hand. You are only allowed to play this card though if any of our Pokemon were knocked out during our opponent's last turn. We also have our Candace, Irida and Lady to help us evolve the Dugong or bench the Finion while also doing a massive energy haul. To retrieve our Pokemon energies, we got one Carrier, one Rod, and one Clara. For the draw support, we're playing two Iono with one Serena, in addition to our Bibarel and Radiant Venusaur's ability. Finally, we have our regular trainers for the setup, one Manaphy for the bench barrier, one Skovet to support our Bibarel engine, one Boss's Order with 12 basic water energy. So that's all for the deck list, now let's go for some gameplay and see how well this deck works. Johnny. Coin flip. Another heads. Wow. That rarely happens. We got one seal. No bidoof. We're going second though. <clears throat> I think. Oh, we're going first. They let us go first. Yeah, we got a VIP. Um, we're gonna get another seal though, right? I don't know. We could easily bench um, the Finneon later. Oh, there we go. We got the Tails. We got the Finneon. It's a Alolan Vulpix. How much damage are they doing? White drop, 10 damage. Plus 50 if we are a V. So even if they get to do 60, it's still not enough. Isn't that sad? Fiji mm. mm. bags. They have the oldest retrieval card. Oh my god, that is priceless. Energy retrieval. From the very, very, like, the cl most classic set of all, like, of PTCG history. Why are they taking so long? They had to Ultra Ball for a basic, that's sad. Heavy Ball. Chin Pao. Chin Pao Bex. With Alolan Vulpix. Interesting. Playing Avery though. Ten damage. We got the Ultra Ball. Are we gonna do a boss right now? Not sure what to do actually. I don't really want to play the Ultra Ball because I don't want to discard my letter. Okay, now we get to play the Ultra Ball. Um, we get to rod back the Barrel as well later. Oh, we don't need to rod back the Barrel. Uh, should we even evolve it though? I feel like just getting a Scovet. Nah, we got Ultra Ball, we should be evolving. We have Irida for the next turn though. 
Maybe we should have gotten the Skovet. Um, should we bench the Venusaur? I don't know what to do right now. Let's just end the turn. I don't want to play too many cards. We should maybe have benched a Bidoof. Just in case they do a boss. It's always safer that way. But I don't think we need the Skovet this turn. We should have benched it on the next turn. Play the Nest Ball for another Bidoof. I feel like that would be... That could have been the better play. On the previous turn. Oh well. Avery is gonna force us to discard the Skovet. But we got Rod. Um, we have Carrier as well, I think. Pretty sure we got Carrier. We have Clara instead of Miriam. So, for some reason, Miriam shows up very, very easily in your hand because it's like a Scarlet and Violet card. So you kind of have to play Clara if you want to have it show up later, right? It's just experience, right? If you know this game well, you would know that, you know, new cards have a higher chance, have a more, you know higher likelihood of showing up early in your hand. So they're choosing not to do a knockout this turn because, oh, they got Greninja. Oh my god, this is scary now. Are we going to play Candace first? We got so many energies, yo. I feel like we should keep one. Um, we got the Ultra Ball. Should we play the Candace first? I don't know. We have Squavet. Let's just play the Candace first. Oh my god. We got the Finneon. Discarding the energy for the retreat. How many energies do we have? Six. That's enough though. Right? I don't think we need that many. That's just... I don't think we need to evolve the active, honestly. Ah, uh, that bloody Candace thing. It didn't get us our... Dugong. Our second Dugong. Oh well. What are we gonna bench though? I don't think we need to bench anything. Oh, we need the Bidu just in case, right? We got exact damage. I forgot to check if they have Lake Acuity. Because that would have been... Um... Yeah, that was too close to shave. Very close. Exact damage to knock out a V star. We got another Dugong. That's great. We got two letters in our hand. Um, everything seems fine until they get the boss. If they boss and deal with the B barrel, then we're screwed, right? That should have been a Venusaur, actually. I don't know. I don't know what that should have been. Because now we need the Ultra Ball, and we don't have the Ultra Ball for the B-Barrel. We do have Irida though. So how many damage can we do? We got already um, 280 secured. Secured damage with the letter, unless if they play Ayano right now. Ayano means no boss, and that means we got even more draw. So either way, we're fine. Just got a bench, right? Oh, I forgot about Greninja! Oh no! We needed a Menifee! Oh, fuck! Ah, <laughs> We needed a Menifee! Oh, man! That was a misplay. That Bidoof should have been a Menifee. 
Oh, they're doing it now. They're doing it now, which is fine. Oh, this is bad. We don't have the school vet, though. This is bad. This is so bad. I think they're going to take out the school vet and the seal. Well, they have to take out this one. I don't think they're going to take out the school vet. Right, these two. If they take out these two... That would have been the smartest move. There we go. That's a smarter move. Because now we still can't bench the Menifee. Oh my god. We have this Corvette though. <laughs> but it's not really helping much. Oh man, this is bad. Are we going to play the Rod right now? We got Carrier and Clara. We have another copy in the deck, so I don't think we need it that badly. One misplay, yo. One tiny misplay and it's over. We got enough. Um, we have to bench both though. Which means they could easily just revive uh, the Greninja. Do we do an escape rope? That's not going to help us, is it? Oh man, we played the wrong hand. Oh my god. They have one turn to retrieve the Greninja though. But they probably are going to play a Clara. Oh my god, we're not allowed to bench the Menifee. What a disaster. Now they can do it again. Damn it. One wrong move, yo. How could I forget the Greninja? Wait, they don't have a Backscalibur yet? That's pretty weird. How did he get enough energy on the Greninja without the backs? Oh wait, that's the Backscalibur. Okay. They got a Freegy Bex and a Bex. Two Chin Pows and a Vulpix. Oh man, what's that? It's a Blanche? Please don't play a Rod. <laughs> Vulpix has one energy retreat. If they miss the Greninja right now, I think it's over for them. Because we just need two more knockouts. They have to play Moonlight Shuriken three times in a row in order to win this game. So, if they don't do it right now, it's over. Did they play the Rod? Oh my god, they actually played the Rod. Oh, thank god. No Greninja. If we played the Menifee, yo, what a gigantic misplay. <laughs> I was so insecure about the B-Barrel. We have supporter cards. We shouldn't be that insecure. Okay, we need to rod back the Dugo now. Do we? We better. Let's rod back um, the Dugong, Seal, and Finneon, right? I think we definitely need to rod back the Finneon.
We have Clara, but it's really, really risky. If we don't shuffle back the Finion, it's like super scary. Do we attach the energy right now? Do we play the escape rope? Do we play the Menifee? I don't know. We can't, like, there's, it's over. We, like, it's too late for Menifee. <laughs> we gotta bench another seal. We got another B barrel. Might as well just use it. Since we have it anyways. So we're gonna play the Serena. I don't think we need the boss anymore. We don't need the boss effect anymore. We're gonna draw cards with Serena. That's five. Still not enough. We need six. We need one more. We should have drawn with Serena first. And then play the letter. Oh well, same thing. Got the seal. It's quite a lot that we need to achieve. Um, I think that's enough. 240. Did we draw? Oh, we haven't even drawn with the second B barrel. Wow. Okay. Now we need another Dugong though. For the next turn. Damn it. Evolving is like the biggest issue for this deck. I don't know why it's that difficult to evolve. We got Irida for God's sake. Two Irida and we're not getting a single copy. We shuffled the deck so many times. Not getting the Irida is ridiculous. Don't need the boss anymore, we just need the evolution. Oh my gosh, here comes the snipe. It's kind of too late though. Huh. We just need to bench the Finneon and it's over. Can we do it though? That's the question. Depends on what they're gonna snipe, right? That's how we get Irida, Ayano. Oh, they they gave up though. If they snipe the Scovet, we may be in trouble. But we have Ayano, we have uh, two more Irida in the deck. Let's hope we can get it if they do that. Um, if we play Irida, we can revive the Finneon with the level ball and then search for the Dugong. So I feel like we should be fine. Tails, heads. Tails, heads. We got three heads in a row. Oh, uh, how? It doesn't really matter if we go first or second though, because we gotta waste. Uh, we gotta waste a knockout. We gotta give up one Pokemon, so that we get to play the letter. If our opponent didn't do a knockout on the previous turn, the letter is like we're not able to use this card. We're not allowed to play it. It's a Mew VMAX. Or is it? Mew. No level ball. Oh no, it's a Lunatone. <laughs> it's not a Mew VMAX after all. We got... Candace. We have Bibarel... Uh, sorry. We have Venusaur, but we're not able to draw enough. Um, let's just do on the bench, because I have a feeling they're going to do the knockout. We just need the Finneon with our Candace, but I don't think Candace is going to get as much. Um, we're not playing that many water Pokemon in this deck. We may just not get a Finneon at the top 7 cards of the deck. It would be quite ridiculous if we do, in fact, because it's only the top 7. We got only two copies. We need the level ball. It should have been an Irida. Oh my gosh. We only have one copy though. I feel like we can't... We're not allowed to play Candace and Lady in the same deck. We're only... Eight, like, we're only... We only have the luxury to fit in either one copy. We cannot fit in both. Either the Candace or the Lady. I feel like Candace is better, but... 
lady gives you that extra energy haul if you don't get to play the letter, right? Maybe three letters is good enough? Because I keep getting the letter way too early. <laughs> I don't know. Irida is going to help a lot though, because if we get the Irida, all we need is the Finneon right now. If we get a Tails, all we need is the Dugong, right? So either way, Irida is the better supporter. It gets us an extra item, which means it helps us get a second letter. Which would be a lot better than the Kendas. Pretty sure they have it. Tracking shoes, insane, focus stop, research, ridiculous. Do they have the Mewtwo? If they don't play Mewtwo, I don't think we can win this. I don't think it's possible. We need either Lost City, Ice Q, or <laughs> some way to. Destroy a Lunatone directly. There's no other way. With the one price deck, I don't think we stand a good chance. A Snipe. We don't have a Snipe. We don't have Greninja. I thought about playing Poppy with Greninja, but I don't know. Maybe we should do that, right? Instead of the Venusaur. The Venusaur doesn't really seem to help a lot. Oh, they gave us a Pokestop. Maybe we should be digging for um, the level ball? Should we play it first or the Candace? I don't know. Candace first or the Pokestop? We got an item. Oh, we got it. We got a second Dugong. Um, let's see what we get. Wait, we should be playing this one first, right? And then play the Pokestop. That's a lot of energies though. I don't think we should be taking out so many energies. Uh, oh, this is hard now. Do we go for Scovet? Do we play the Carrier? I don't know. I feel like we should wait for the seal, the second seal to get knocked out. They do have the Mewtwo, okay, they do have the Mewtwo, that's good. Um, we don't need that many though. I feel like just saving a couple copies. We just need three, right? Because it's kind of risky to play just a Lunatone. <clears throat> if you have just Lunatone in your deck... Okay, we got Ayano. That's really good. Um, Your opponent may just play... Flying Pikachu, Ice Q, what have you, and you're done. Or like Cheryl. If they play Cheryl... You can't really do a one-in knockout with Lunatone, unless you have Diancie. Right, if you keep it on the bench, over two turns, you would have enough energies to do a one-in knockout. It's kind of the same thing as doing a two-hit knockout uh, with double Lunatone in two turns. But you gotta hope they don't heal their Pokemon. Sun energy, moon kinesis. <laughs> There's no no other attack that sounds so good, yo. Moon kinesis, telekinesis.
Here comes the Mewtwo. We don't even have to play the boss. They're definitely going to switch though, right? They have to put something in the active. So I bet they have a switch card. That's the reason they put the Mewtwo. Just to bait us. Just to taunt us. That they have a Mewtwo, but we can't target it. <laughs> if they don't evolve, we got the boss. So... 220. Is that... Do we have enough? We just need 6 energies. We don't have enough. We need 2 more. They gave us the Pokestop though. So we could potentially fish out uh, more letters. We didn't discard any energies. On the previous turn. So hopefully we won't be discarding any more. This turn either. Well any copies this turn as well. Come on. What's taking so long? They're taking so long. To search for one card. It's always hard though. Never know what's the right move. I guess. Probably gonna switch right now. It doesn't make sense for them to be attacking with the Mewtwo. It just doesn't. Why would they do that? If they have the switch, they should be playing it. Okay, now we need a lot more energies. Cross switcher, there we go. They're gonna take out Arfinion. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? They're taking out the Venusaur? That's weird. It didn't actually help though. It did nothing. <laughs> They, they got exact damage. 150. Wow. Impressive. Okay. So, Rescue Carrier isn't really doing much. Um, Not sure if we should be playing it right now. Let's do the Pokestop later. If we play the Pokestop now though... We could potentially do a boss. But I'm kind of scared of discarding my energies. So... I'm just gonna... Wait for the right... Because we have Serena to take out the Mewtwo. Let's just wait for the right time. Um... Are we actually gonna do it? Are we gonna play the Pokestop? Oh no, we got a VIP. Oh well, an extra dis like an extra item for us to discard. We got to play the B Barrel, the Bidoof. Oh man, the Venusaur would be so helpful now. I think we need the Bidoof, right? So then Irida for the Menifee and Ultra Ball. We can discard stuff. Yeah, we can discard stuff easily. Let's just do it right now. This is a bit annoying. Very uncomfortable. Another Dugong. We need back the carrier, I think. Oh man, we need the B-Barrel, we need the carrier, we need this, we need that. Oh. This game is too complicated. They should not have benched the Mewtwo, like, unless if they are taunt, they are, if they seriously want to taunt us, they're gonna play in a Collapse Stadium or a Penny. Wait, Penny doesn't work on a Evolution. Uh, Collapse Stadium or a Volo, 
to remove Mewtwo from play, that would be absolute torture. <laughs> that would be absolute torture. So we better be playing the Serena boss as soon as we can. As soon as we get 7 energies in our hand to attach, we better be doing it. We gotta evolve the B-Barrel first though. That has to be the priority concern. Okay, here comes the B-Barrel. We definitely need the Carrier though. I don't know what to do now. This is very tricky. We don't have- we have one B-Barrel in the discard pile. Kind of scary now. We got the letter. Okay. Got the letter. Let's just get the energy out first. Um, I'm still not sure what to get with the Irida. So I'm gonna play this one. Oh no! Oh my god. We discarded another B-Barrel. What the fuck? We need the carrier though. Oh man, this is so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, we got a shitty start. We didn't get the B-Barrel. We got an impossible start. <sighs> oh, we just got a B-Barrel from the prize. <laughs> That's a welcome surprise. Oh, are they gonna play Ayano now? Jeez. Greninja, you got no water energy. Like, come on. We know you got no water energy. It's not possible, man. If they play like a Raihan, though, and then do a Luminous, they just need one water. But there's no way to attach the single water energy. It's not possible, right? Energy switch. They got only three cards in their hand. Just need to boss the Mewtwo at the very last second and we should be good. We gotta shuffle back the Dugong though. Rod Clara. Clara would be so good, because we actually have an energy in the discard pile. They're giving us the Pokestar, they're helping us so much, but I don't know. Oh my goodness, they're choosing not to attack? I think they made a... I think they made a mistake. They didn't have the switch. They should have put the Mewtwo, but they don't want to waste the prize. Too bad. 
Too bad, so sad. <laughs> um, we're just gonna play this one, right? Yeah, let's do it. Hoping we get a boss or something. Lunatone getting stuck without a switch. How about that? Um, I feel like that's good enough. Let's spread the energies. Spread it on the Finneon. And... Um, should we play the Ayano? It feels like they're stuck though. So let's just keep our hand. Let's do the Ayano because we kind of need... Uh, we kind of need our boss, Serena. <clears throat> Did we discard the boss? We discarded the Serena. Oh my gosh. Let's attach one more. Right, just one more. We need a lot of shuffles though. We need four shuffles, right? Sixteen. So now we're in the upper hand. Now we're at the upper hand. Out of nowhere. Because they didn't get the switch. That's the funny thing about Lunato. No more scoop up that. They got nothing but switches. To fall back on. They got only cross switcher though. They could have just attached one energy from their hand. For Soul Rock to retreat. But I guess they don't have energies either. It's pretty sad. Definitely don't have enough switch cards. Just need the bloody boss. We're gonna draw out all the energies. And that makes it a lot easier to get the boss. If we still don't get the boss, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know if we should be playing the Pokestop because we might end up discarding the boss. I think it's safer not to. If we don't get the boss, we better be digging for the rod. The ordinary rod. Gotta bench another seal. I don't really want to invest too much though for the boss. Um, because we may end up I don't know what to do right now. Five, six. We just need one more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Escape rope. Oh, we got the boss. It's over. We actually have enough though, right? Yeah, that's exactly enough. That was really close. But we calculated exactly though. We attached that extra one energy exactly. Eight, seven discards for 280 damage, knocking out a V-Star for the last two prizes. Oh, that was a delicious win. That was a good win. If they had the switch, they would they would have still lost. Because they would have one prize remaining, and we did the boss at just the right time. Knocking out the V-Star. 
if we didn't play the Pokestop, we would have had the boss and the Serena to fall back on. Because Serena works on the V-Star. So. First game with Surf Mail. We have Dugong. With Letter of Encouragement. Low return. Super fun, one prize deck. Unlimited damage though. If you shuffle back like 9, if you can somehow draw 9 energies in a single turn to attach with the Finion, you got yourself a stage 2 EX knockout against Tyranitar EX, against um, any VMAX. It's a very powerful one. Finally have a powerful combo for you guys. Um, but they're doing a one prize, apparently. So if they don't play Giratina, I don't see a I don't see our way out. I don't think we're gonna win this that easily. I think we need the school vet. So I'm just gonna get the school vet right now. They may just do a Cross switcher to kill the B barrel though. The B doof. So that would be quite terrible. Um, I'm just gonna attach one energy on like the bench. So if they do the knockout, we got you know the energy safe. If they play escape rogue though, <laughs> oh my god. If they don't do the knockout, if they don't have the cramorant, they probably are going to. I know how easy I know how easy for lost box it is to achieve the four lost on the first turn going second while also switching the Kremlin into the active to attack. It's very easy to do that. They just need beach court and one switch I guess. One retreat, one switch and that's it. They are taking so long, yo. I guess we took quite long just now as well. Didn't we? Attaching the energy. I don't think it's that easy to do the cross switcher. Escape rope would actually be annoying because I don't know what to sacrifice right now. I guess we don't have a choice but to put this one. Oh, they don't do an escape rope. They need to switch twice though, so... They got escape rope in the lost zone. They have the jet energy as well. That's pretty weird, they didn't lost... Um, I don't think they need the Giratina though. Uh, oh, they're not doing enough damage. I think Dugong has 120 HP. They could still play Sabli later. Oh, I forgot about Sabli. Maybe we shouldn't have benched the Scovet. No switches. Not even a single switch. They should have gotten those two. Like, that is a big mistake. They just wasted one turn not doing the spit. They have to do the spit, yo. I think I'm just gonna abandon... I don't really want to. Let's just see what we get with this one. We may just discard a basic. Oh no. Wait, we got an evolution. Isn't that a better thing? Let's just bench another Bidoof. Because we got three B barrels. Might as well, right? I think we need the Menifee as well. So, I'm not sure what to do here. If we don't play a Menifee, it would be quite terrible because they got um, Greninja. But they already play a full bench, so I'm just gonna hope they don't play the Greninja. Uh, we got four letter, so we may just get all four letter right now. Okay, thank god. Now we're just gonna do Lady. I think we got too many seals. Touch the energy. 
One, two, three. I think three is good enough, right? We just need two. Let's just spread the energy around. Um, I don't think we need the level ball, or we might need it later. Uh, let's shuffle back two. I think two is enough though. There we go. Another Dugong. Scovet really s solved the issue for B Barrel. Because when we first built the Dugong for Lost Origin, it was actually quite terrible. The list was. It was kind of powerful if you can draw, you know, the right arrangement. If you can draw a consistent hand over and over, it works. But if you draw the wrong cards, it's kind of hard to play B Barrel without Scovet. And now that they have this card for Scarlet and Violet, it's going to make this deck, any one prize deck really, a lot more consistent. And even with Obsidian Flames, even more, we have our Letter of Encouragement helping us search for extra 3 energies into our hand. While also drawing 5 cards every single turn. In addition to playing the supporter card, so we got Candace, Irida to get another item. With an Evolution, we got Lady as well to dig for energies. Uh, we have Clara, Miriam to shuffle back Pokemons. So this is a very consistent list. Very, very consistent. Um, we're just gonna... Touch as much as we can. Evolve that one. I feel like we should get it back later. I don't think we need the seal right now. Just gonna shuffle them back. Um... We need the B-Barrel, our second B-Barrel, uh, we just need three shuffles, right? I'm just gonna keep that energy in my hand though, I think. I don't actually know what to do right now. We need three shuffles, right? So let's shuffle back these two and Scovet. Now, nah, let's just shuffle back the Dugong, because I know they're going to knock it out anyways. We didn't actually play our supporter card. I'm really sorry, I should be making faster decisions, but... I guess... I have a very flicker mind. A very... Um, I never know what's the right move to make, even when it's like dead obvious. Because there's always so many options. There's always like a billion options even when you're in on the winning side. It's really hard to like... You never know when they're gonna pull off a surprise snipe or something because they actually have Greninja right now. So they're definitely gonna do it. If they target the Bidoof, it would be terrible for them. They have to target Dugong and the Scovet, but they're probably gonna snipe the Finneon. I think that makes more sense. Dugong Finion or like Finion with the Squavet. We have Menifee though, so no matter what happens, we're good. Good as gold. Pretty sure they have enough to play the gate. No Shuriken. For some reason, they do have water energy though. I guess they don't have it in their hand. Uh, Giratina really makes the list a lot more clunkier, a bit more difficult to play the Shuriken that early. But I feel like it's easy for them to achieve uh, just the two water. They just need one gate and one basic energy. One basic water in your hand. Or even a Luminous. I don't think Lost Box should be playing Luminous though. Maybe one copy, but not that many. Uh, let's just do that. Now we need the Menifee. Wait, now we can't. We actually can't bench the Menifee still. We need to bench uh, another seal. So we have to wait until they play the shuriken before we are able to do the menifee, unfortunately. 
We should not have benched the second Beedle. That was a huge mistake, apparently. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm just gonna do it, right? I'm just gonna do Irida for a seal and the letter, I guess. Not really sure what I should be shuffling back right now. I don't think we need to shuffle back yet. One, two, three. Okay. I don't think we need to shuffle back yet though, because we got a lot of dugongs. Uh, you never know. I don't really want to. Honestly. We got to draw one before playing the Scovet. Guess I made a mistake. But we got another letter. I don't think we should be playing the letter yet. We got the Ultra Ball. That's good. For the evolution. 280. Okay, let's just shuffle back all from this one. That's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's just shuffle from the Scovet because they can actually kill this one. So eventually, you wouldn't need to play the letter anymore. Eventually, you would have discarded all of your hand, played all the cards. We actually got the Dugong, the last Dugong from the prize. We only have three copies. So we should have shuffled back after all, right? But I don't really want to play the Rod for just one card. I guess we just need three seals for this deck. It would be pretty awkward though if we don't get the Heavy Ball for the second copy. If we play three seals, um, we would need like a carrier or something. A rescue carrier making the deck a lot more consistent. I don't know. Do we do that? <laughs> I should have checked. I should have played the Peonia to check if we have... Uh, sorry, I should have played... I should have looked at the deck better when I searched for the evolution. I think we played Ultra Ball earlier no we played aroma we got an evolution with aroma we got the dugong with aroma and i forgot to check how many copies we have left in the deck so we should uh you know having the last dugong in the prize meant that we should have played the rod on our previous turn to shuffle back this dugong just in case we don't get it from the prize because we just put the clara and the rod at the bottom which is a big no-no so we kind of have no choice but to play it we have Clara and Rod. I don't think we have a Miriam anymore. I don't think we have the Carrier either. Pretty sure. Although I'm not 100% sure though. Here comes the Shuriken. Escape Rope. I'm just gonna put this one. Oh, if they're smart though. Oh my goodness, Sablai. What? They're not gonna do the Shuriken yet? It's kind of the same thing though. If they're smart, they would take out the Seal and the Finneon. Right? Because then they get to snipe again. Yeah, we definitely need Carrier. We need the Rescue Carrier. Um... I think 3 seal is good enough because we keep getting the seal. They're yeah, taking out the Scovet, which is actually good news because now we have a free spot for Menifee. Um, Menifee is kind of a big no-no though because they have Sabli. So 7 plus 5 is actually enough for them to... Get another 2 price with another Sablai on the next turn. If we play the Finion and the Manaphy, right? So I feel like we should just play the Finion. I don't know what to do here. I 
I don't think Menifee is going to do much anyways. Let's just bench this one because it has a lot of HP. Um, and the Finneon, right? And now we're going to just attach the energy. Draw cards. Uh, should we do the boss? I feel like we should do the boss, right? If we put the boss, they're probably going to do a Clara, but I don't think the Greninja is doing much. 12 damage contra feels like more though. I don't know. 5, 7 damage contra. I don't know. I think we should do the boss. Let's keep the boss for later, because we just need one last knockout, right? Um, let's just attach the energy. Let's play the Candace. Let's just draw as much as we can first. Okay, to the Candace now. Oh, that's a lot of energies. So we just need two shuffles. Um, we're just gonna charge up both the Dugongs as much as we can until they knock out the Finneon. So we got two Dugongs ready to go for the next turn. Um, I don't think we should invest everything on that Dugong though. Oh my god, oh my god, they're gonna take out that Dugong. Right? I think we should shuffle back. Oh my god, that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake, we should- oh no. Let's just shuffle back three. We should have- Oh, we can't attach two energy on the B barrel though. We're not allowed to attach two energies onto anything other than the Dugong. We got one prize left. They need two turns. We got the letter from the prize, so I think we won this one. They wasted too many turns not doing the Shuriken. They should have done the Shuriken earlier. And then play the Sabli, right? Because that would have forced us to play the Menifee. So not playing the Menifee sometimes is a good thing. Sometimes it is too late to play it. Because now they don't have double knockout. Even with the Sabli. They only have a single knockout. They're probably going to take out one of the Dugongs though. Oh, but they need to take out the Finneon. If they take out one of the Dugongs, we get energies back quite easily. If they take out the Finneon, then we don't have we don't have our energy system, but we have enough energies in play. So either way, I think they lost. We even have the boss to target Comfy or Menifee. I think we won this one. It's an easy win. Oh well, I'm going to take it. When life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. When life gives you cherries, you gotta cherish them. Colrus. Four Colrus. They would have done a knockout on their first turn though if they played the Cramorant, the Jet, and the Escape Rope. But then, they would still be one prize short, right? Because right now, they even if they have two prize remaining, right now they can't do a double knockout. There we go. Only one knockout. Why are you going to choose? Well, they can't choose though. That's the only one they can kill. They could have done Lost Mine. So now we're going to do the boss. Um, it's kind of hard to get the Finneon back. Unless if we get Irida for the rod. I don't think we have any carrier for this list. Which is a um, big mistake apparently. 
let's just do the boss. I kind of want to just discard the seal. I don't think it's going to do much. Now we get to bench our Manaphy. And let's play everything at the last minute. Let's just do the boss at the last minute. Um, okay, we got Irida. Oh no, we can't bench it anymore. We just benched the Manaphy. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late for the Finneon. We could have revived the Finneon with the Rod and the Level Ball. That was just depressing. Oh well. Gonna do a boss now. I'm pretty sure we have enough to kill the Greninja anyways without the Finneon. We got 280. So we could have hit a lot higher. Definitely because we got double B barrel draw. We got another Finneon. We got a letter. I mean... It would have been a like a 400 plus damage knockout, but oh well. I don't think we have the letter anymore. I think we played it. So we got two extra energies in our hand. Um, we could potentially draw an, another one. So that would be 120 extra damage, 400 damage. 400 potential damage with the last bit barrel draw. Against a Raiding Greninja or a Comfy. Well, not a Comfy because we can't do a boss, right? If we play Irida. Next one. Finion in the active. Um, we just need the seal. Okay, it's a Miraidon. It's a Hyper Miraidon. Let's get the Beedoof. Should we get the Venusaur? I think we're fine. Um, not sure what else we need. I think we need another Finneon. Because they're probably going to knock out the active. Oh no. That's not enough. What do we even get with Irida? Oh man. We should have done swim freely. I don't want to waste my... Oh my god, I don't even know what to do right now. I know they have a boss, I'm just gonna wait.
It's annoying that they are not doing a knockout. Give us the candles. Oh, we didn't get the candles. What a disaster. They took out the Finneon. That was annoying. I think we have to discard the boss. Oh, we got a lady. We're so done. Let's target the Ilaki though, right? Let's do it on the next turn. Let's target the Ilaki on the next turn. We just need two, two shuffles. <laughs> No, we didn't play a supporter card this turn though. We should have played the lady. Oh well. It would have been enough though. If we did the Serena on the VMAX, it would have been enough to kill it. On a lot without playing the lady. We didn't need the lady. Because we had nine energies. Eight energies, my bad. We have eight energies. We drew one from the prize. So eight is three twenty. Here comes the knockout. Now we just need the evolution.
Why is it taking so long? Okay, they're attacking with Raikou. They're not, they're choosing not to attack. Okay, we got Lady though. Got three energies in our hand. Okay, they just conceded. That's like 200 damage. We just need one more. Wait, 200 is enough to kill a Raikou though. <laughs>